Savage Finance, because it's a jungle out there that wants your money. Here I will teach you how to manage the jungle and make it out. Hi there, my name is Glendon Cameron, and this is the first episode of Savage Finance, because it's a jungle out there and we're going to teach you how to navigate it. We're going to teach you about money. So we're going to have our first conversation about money. We're going to talk about money in a way that's very real and palatable to you. So one of the things that I want you guys to understand, since this is the first episode, that each video is going to build upon itself. So what I want you to do is to subscribe to the channel, go to the front of the channel and watch all of the videos. All the videos will be beneficial to you and they will help you learn about money. Here's a little bit about my background. I was the product of a single mother. And at times we lived in abject poverty when I was a child. So I made a decision that when I became an adult, I wasn't gonna be poor. I left home and joined the military and I didn't have really bad money habits, but due to the social economic conditions which I was raised, I was sending money home to my mother and siblings. So even though I was a free man with no responsibilities, no family, I had responsibilities. And this is one of the things that literally held me back. One of the things we're gonna talk about on this channel is how you gotta look out for yourself because no one else will look out for you. So I did that and then I got into a bad marriage. Uh, the divorce left me homeless. I lived in a boarding house for almost three years because of the events that happened. So I had that first setback and I had that third setback. And while I was in that boarding house, I sought out knowledge because I, I knew that I was in a state of lack. I didn't have any money. Every time I turned around, it was always a question of, could I get this or could I get that? Because money was everything. And the more you need money, the more important money is. It's really, really a bad way to be. I did not get on to my current financial journey until I was age 38. So even if you're a little older, even if you made some mistakes, it's never too late to begin to live proper. It's never too late to start understanding the money system because talking about money, one of the biggest problems is low income and no one ever mentions that. Like, you know, you'll see these YouTube videos it's like, hey, I got a thousand dollars, what should I invest it in? That's not the answer. We're gonna get into foundational education. Your goal should not be to have this windfall of $1,000 and invest it. Because you could take $1,000 and put it into an index fund, a mutual fund, or some investment, and it will literally take 40 to 50 years to turn into $20,000. The goal is to set your financial life up where you can consistently invest on a monthly basis. So instead of one time thousand dollars, you want to put in a situation where you can put a thousand dollars away per month. And one of the things we'll do here together is teach you how to get there because here's another component that is not talked about on financial education channels. How to make money, how to make more money, how to increase your income. You will be told you need to increase your income. You'll be told maybe go to college, get a degree, but I'm here to tell you there are a multitude of ways to make more money and never step foot in a college. There's a way for you, because I'm gonna tell you about my economic journey. I was in this boarding house, I was suffering. The first half, I was feeling sorry for myself, looking at my situation. And then one day I started to gain new knowledge. I began to get my financial education. And I learned the best way to increase your income is to serve other people. The more people you serve, the more money you make. This is why NFL players and NBA players and Major League Baseball players, they serve millions and that's one of the reasons they make millions. It's often compared that, you know, our teachers should be paid a million dollars. But over a teaching career and classes, like say a teacher has a class, she teaches 150 kids per year she has a 30 year career, she's only impacted 3,500 people. Tom Brady, when he goes on the field, he's in front of millions of people and he impacts millions of people and that's why he makes the money. So we're gonna talk about making money, how to drastically increase your income because 
If you're part of the 160 million people in this country who are working, we have a population of 308, 330 million. So literally half the country ain't working. And this would be kids and the elderly and people who can't work. Out of that 160 million people, only 80,000 make $33,000 a year or less. And this is where we run into a problem. i am be honest with you guys. If you're making that kind of money, it's gonna be very hard for you to get ahead economically because of rent, bills, car notes, and things such as that. So one of the things we're gonna address is manage your money or your money will manage you. This is one of the cold hard truths that I had to realize. For me to escape that boarding house, I had a one job that I used to pay the bills and I had another job that I was able to save money. And then I devised a plan to get out of there because this is how I began my economic journey. I realized that I needed to make more money and I needed a better job. First of all, I'm not going to tell you guys to quit your job and start a business. That is one of the most foolish things that you could do because typically in starting a business, it's going to be a journey. It's going to be the three or five year journey. And typically you will need your job to support yourself because the business income will support the business. And we'll get into all of that down the road. Be sure to subscribe, be sure to watch all of the videos because what I'm gonna do is each video is gonna build upon the last one. So you're gonna get benefits. Like say this channel is four years old, you're still gonna be served very well to go back and watch the first videos and watch all of them so you can get your financial house in order. Because one of the things we're going to address here is income. Many financial channels talk about how to invest, what stock market, but very few talk about how to make money, how to drastically increase your income. And one of the first things you've got to understand, manage your money or your money's going to manage you. There are many people whose money manages them. Their money dictates where you're going to live. Your money dictates what you're going to drive. So you should not be allowing your money to dictate your lifestyle. You should pick a lifestyle that you want and find an economic vehicle that will allow you to live that way. We're not going to talk about minimalism. That is a big, big thing. It's economically based. You know, a van life is economically based. I'm going to live in the van because it's not going to cost a lot of money. And people are living these extreme ways of living to save money because they don't want to make money. Here, my friends, we're going to talk about making money. Like I said, there's a multitude of ways for you to make money, drastically increase your income and live a better life. That's the promise. We're going to do it together. I'm going to teach you. I'm going to drop that knowledge. And one of the th first things you've got to do, and this is going to be hard. You got to get out of debt. Debt kills wealth building ability. If you have a lot of debt, it's going to be very hard for you to build wealth. It's going to be very hard for you to deploy your money where your money makes money. It's going to be hard for you to play the economic game. Here's the path how I did to escape normal income living. I was in this boarding house and I got laid off. I was the best salesman of the month. I sold more phones and I got laid off and that taught me a valuable lesson. If you don't control your destiny, even if you do a good job, you can still be without a job because you don't control nothing. I made this promise to myself that it was never going to happen to me again. I was going to get these jobs, learn everything I could from them and bounce. So I, I figured out a way to get a job and I'll, I'll tell this story in the future. And then I got one job, I got another job, then I got another job, then I started my business. I'm not going to tell you guys to quit your job. That's one of the foolishest things you can do because when you start a business, it's going to take a minute for your business to grow. And you're going to need money to live on. And that's with the money for the job. Your business income should be used to grow your business and make your business better. And your job income should be used to support you. This is the way, this is the fastest way that you can grow your business because you're not draining your business of income that can help it grow. And we'll get into all that later. Once again, be sure to subscribe, be sure to watch all of the videos and be sure to share these videos with people you know. The average American is living economically dangerous. No emergency fund. There was a study out that 
if you had to come up with $2,000 cash within 30 days that most of America could not do it. Going back to the 160,000 people, 160 million people who are working, only 9% of that group makes six figures. So that means literally 140 million people don't make six figures. And also we're gonna talk about, once again, manage your money or your money's gonna manage you. We're gonna talk about how to set up an economic blueprint where you grow year after year versus you're on this hamster wheel of just paying bills. You go to work, you pay bills, you wake up, go home, you go to sleep, you wake up, you do it all over again. We're gonna talk about creating true financial freedom, creating true wealth, and getting out of the rat race, rat race, and you can do it because I did it. We're gonna talk about all of these methodologies and blueprints because if you are making $33,000 a year and you have a car note of $700 or $800 a month, you're living economically dangerous. You're living in a reckless manner. And I'm gonna give you the truth. I'm gonna teach you the things you need to do to climb out of that economic hole. I'm gonna teach you the mindset that you need to adopt. Because once again, manage your money or your money's gonna manage you. And we're gonna get into this because once again, with investing, you need to be debt free before you start investing in anything. Because when you invest with debt, your money's fragmented. A chunk of money's going over here, a chunk of money's going to your investments. Imagine if you didn't have a car note. Imagine if you didn't have rent of mortgage. How much money could you save per month? The average person, if you didn't have rent or a mortgage or credit card debt, you could save several hundred dollars to a few thousand dollars per month and make this money grow and have this money working for you and have this money throwing off dividends and cash to support you while you literally sit back and do nothing. This is what we're the goal here. I want everyone to be economically free. And right now the stock market is booming. But how many Americans is the stock market really benefiting? Most people don't have a significant portion in the stock market. I dated this girl who was a school teacher and I asked her how much money she had saved and she misunderstood me. She said 15,000. I was like, really? Okay, cool. Well, you can get this car. She said, well, I have to talk to him because it's my 401k. So in eight years, she had $15,000 in her 401k. I dated another chick who in four years had $120,000 in her 401k. The difference was income. We're gonna be talking a lot about income. We're not gonna be talking about this minimalist stuff, this pathologically cheap stuff, living in the van, we're, we're not. We're gonna talk about abundance. We're gonna talk about creating the life that you want, living the life that you want, having the money to live how you want. And I'm not talking about being extravagant. I'm not talking about driving a Lambo. I'm talking about having a good, healthy, economic life so you can live the way that you want to. And one of the first things you gotta do is get out of debt. One of the first things, well the second thing you gotta do is stop financing everything. You gotta stop buying stuff. You, you, you gotta stop buying stuff on credit. You gotta start paying cash. If you use credit, you wanna be in the position where you can pay that credit card off every week. Not the end of the month, because I, I use credit cards. I'm a big fan of credit cards. I'm not a Dave Ramsey, and I treat my credit card like a debit card. I buy something and usually within a day or so I go ban and I pay it off because the credit card has to reconcile and you know American Express will allow you to way overpay but Chase and um, Capital One will not. So typically when I use my credit card as a debit card I pay it off every week and I get a lot of points this way and we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about ways that you can use credit to get more things for free and not pay interest. I've not paid interest in 12 years on my credit cards because I never carry a balance. And we're gonna talk about that and we're gonna talk about how you can put yourself in the position to win the money game. Because it's a game. There's a lot of money out there for you. If you wanna start a business, there's a lot of money you can get your hands on if you know how to access it. And we'll talk about all of that 
on this channel. So this is the first edition of Savage Finance. Hopefully you got something out of this message. Be sure to subscribe. Be sure to watch each and every video. And I'll see you guys yeah. in the next one. Yeah. After I get it, I reinvest. After I get it, I reinvest. Get it. Wanna talk that talk in reality, you have not seen me in action You think the come up comes overnight, you ain't behind the scenes Trust me, these things don't just happen No shade of Gerald, but G's don't come easy When you try to eat, I produce it and rap it I read that contract, you sent me to sign But excuse me, I can't help myself, I'm just laughing Hey, you try to cut out a piece of my pie And I ask you politely, what's it that you offer me, yeah I produce all my own beats and I have no intention of losing my publisher, yeah Independent individual, boy, I've been eating off passive residuals, yeah Let's be professional, thanks for your time but I had to decline at that principle hey, I've been scheming up a plan hey, I've been saving all I can hey, You can call me David Rams hey, The way I handle these bands hey, We ain't messing with the old model oh, You wear a new kid, we full throttle oh, Just know that the come up is not a fool My amigos, they focus, know what to do After I get it, I reinvest After I get it, I reinvest After I get it, I reinvest Stack it, stack it, stack it, put it back in it After I get it, I reinvest Yo, look.